It's time for the qualifier. Perth Scotchers, Sydney Sixers. Let's build our fantasy team on my 11 circle fantasy pick on ESPN Cricket Info. I'm Rana Kapoor and Tom Moody is all set to join me. Right, let's go to our pro tip for this big game. And at the Manaka Oval in Canberra, uh, in this year's Big Bash, targets less than 200 have been successfully chased seven out of eight times. So make sure you tweak your captaincy and player choices after the toss to suit the chasing team. Now that calls for an interesting bit of improvisation of such a big game in your fantasy team. Tom, what do you make of that? Tweak your captains around after knowing the toss result? Yeah, oh, look, it's something you should consider every time, I think. But uh, again, I, I wouldn't be overcomplicating. I think the most important thing is to recognise this is finals cricket. So there's two things you should trust, and that is class and also form. So I'd be concentrating more on the, the players that have got class, and that's what I'm meaning by that is players that have got experience and, and the players that are carrying form into the finals. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see what the uh, shape of our team looks like. Let's uh, quickly go to some player availability news. Now, no new uh, updates at the time of recording this on any players missing out or not available, but do check in closer to the toss for the same. Now, if you haven't been playing already on the My11 Circle Fantasy app, 100 credits for every user to build their fantasy team. Four categories of players to choose from. Batsmen, bowlers, wicket keepers and all-rounders. Every player's individual credit value is listed on the app. You can pick a maximum of seven players from one team in any given contest. We'll throw in four substitute options for you towards the end of this video as well. Let's go to our top picks and uh, in our uh, captain choice for this one, not for the first time and certainly not for the last when the Sixers play, we're going for Josh Philippe. We know he's got 454 runs in 14 games this season at a highly impressive strike rate of nearly 150. He's the second highest run getter of Big Bash 10. His middle over strike rate nearly 160 is higher than his power play strike rate which tells you what Philippe is capable of once he gets his eye in. His two previous scores at this venue, 64 of 36, 84 of 52. But Vice-captain option, Colin Munro. Now, uh, the New Zealand uh, top order bats uh, season has been a tale of two halves. Initial five games, was 85 runs. But in the next seven, 326 runs, striking at over 134. He's been a bit of a rock in the middle overs for the Perth Scotchers. Now, maybe that could be tweaked around depending on the toss result. But we've gone for Philippe as captain and Munro is vice-captain. Captains and vice-captains give you double and 1.5 times the points, respectively. In our top picks, Jai Richardson features. He is Australia's new pace sensation. But he's been around for a while, but he's had the season of his life in the Big Bash this season. Leading wicket taker, 27 wickets in 14 games, average of just over 13. And uh, Moses Andreeks joins him in our top picks. He recently had a good limited over series against India. He carried that form into the Big Bash as well getting you some uh, points with bat and we know he's capable of uh, giving you some extra points with ball uh, as well. Mitchell Marsh is there, the younger Marsh. He's been plagued by injuries recently and just when he regained uh, full fitness uh, for both departments, he had another setback. He is considered just someone who's fit enough to bat as of now, but is yet a key player, especially at the death for the Perth Scotchers. 253 runs at an average of just over 42 in this year's Big Bash. Josh Philippe is captain, Colin Munro is vice-captain, Jai Richardson, Moses Henriques and Mitchell Marsh round off our topics. Tom, what do you make of those? Yeah, look, I like the lot, you know, I like them a lot, really. Philippe is a no-brainer as captain. He's in terrific form and he's also got the advantage of taking catches behind the stumps. Munro has been a revelation for the Scorchers. First season for him there. And uh, Jai Richardson, well, it's great to see him back fit and firing. Um, and both Marsh and Henriques are good picks because they're in form. And just referring to the point I made earlier, they're class players. So they're, they're more than likely going to deliver on the big stage at the big moment. All right, let's go to some differential picks now. And the veteran Dan Christen, who's been a regular feature in these fantasy videos for this year's Big Bash, the 37-year-old, he's been a bit of a revelation for the Sixers this season. He's won them a couple of games virtually on his own. He's the only player to pick up over 10 wickets and score over 150 runs in this year's Big Bash. Ben Dwoshius uh, joins him in our differential picks. He's missed a handful of games for the Sixers as Dwoshius, but he is the leading wicket taker for them with 19 strikes in just 11 games. And it is his best returns from a single edition of the Big Bash. So, Dan Christian and Ben Dwoshers in our differential picks. Our full team sees Josh Felipe as a keeper option and our recommended captain. Jason Roy, Colin Munro, Moses Henriques, Liam Livingston, Mitchell Marsh, Dan Christian, Jai Richardson, Andrew Ty, Ben Dwoshers, and the spin of Steve O'Keefe features as well. In our substitutes bench, Jordan Silk, Sean Abbott, Josh Inglis, Jason Berendorf, 
some alternate scenarios. Would you want to swap Berendorf and Ty? I'll get Tom's thoughts in just a second. And uh, Andrix and Mitchell Marsh could very well slot into those captaincy positions as well. Tom, would you make that swap for Ty and Berendorf? And any other last thoughts you'd like to leave our viewers with? Yeah, look, I wouldn't go with Ty and Berendorf, but I'd definitely consider, consider uh, Berendorf and Dewarshus as a potential swap. Uh, apart from that, that looks a, a very strong side. I'm just hoping that Mitchell Marsh finds himself up the order. He's been batting at five, and there's been talk that he's been wasted there, so we might see him batting at four. So more points for him if he comes in earlier. All right, Tom Moody, thank you very much, as always, for your time and your thoughts. That wraps up our uh, fantasy uh, calls and uh, predictions on uh, this episode of My 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket Info.